happy Facebook Live time and happy Thursday. My name is Melissa Kerman with Melissa's Crafting Treehouse and I've been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for over 19 years and so excited still to share paper crafting with anybody and everybody that will listen. So here I am today with a uh, some fun. I've got a few announcements and I've got some projects made with the um, uh, new 2022 uh, 2024 in colors um, I just love these colors um, adore them so I hope you guys love them too I'm gonna be asking you um, during our my Facebook live tonight um, what your favorite in colors are I posted a little bit earlier today to remind people about today's event hi Sharon good to see you here I see people joining in um, wonderful and uh, so I'd be curious what do you think of the new in colors in general and do you have a favorite one definitely comment and let me know here hi Mary Beth oh my goodness I'm so glad to see you here I hope everything is going well for you um, uh, yes um, anyway can't wait to hear I know it's been an interesting week for you to say the least so anyway <laughs> I digress so in colors are the featured products today two projects and a couple of announcements so let's talk about the announcements ever so quickly um, now, if you are a customer, um, this is a great time to buy. It's um, the new annual catalog just came out at the beginning of May and I am offering like a crazy, crazy good deal. Um, it, I'm calling it my annual catalog special offer. It's a 10 at 100 party. Um, I am giving away seven, not, not, that's not little, seven <laughs> gifts plus host rewards to anybody who spends $100 um, or more with me um, using my current host code. Uh, you have until the 15th of May to sign up. So you have to register. Um, I'll have a link in the description of this video after um, I go off. Um, but you get seven gifts plus $15 of host rewards. Normally you have to spend $150 to get $15 of host rewards. So I am giving you 15 and seven gifts. I mean, I just think it's kind of crazy that I'm doing this even, but here's the truth. Um, four of the gifts are going to be retired items um, that I have and they need good homes. I never use my retired stuff. I mean, as much as I keep a few things, um, I just don't have enough time in the day to create with things that are retired. So I need good homes for my retired things and I want to give them away. So you spend $100, you're basically getting $100 in free product from me because it's four items, you know, the average bundle might be um, $50, so a bundle counts as two items, by the way. Plus, um, in addition to those retired items and the $15 host rewards, I'm giving away a stack of designer series paper, cut it four by six, an in-color bookmark, which you're going to see tonight, it's so pretty, um, and a surprise gift. So crazy, crazy, right? So um, now's a good time to buy. Now, if you don't want to buy in that way, maybe you want to buy the starter kit. There's an amazing starter kit special going on right now. You actually get $92.50 worth of product for free, absolutely free. Um, you spend $99 for the kit and you get $92.50 for free. Um, $66.50 of that is four wonderful in-color products. Again, in-colors, I love these in-colors. You're gonna love this tonight. So, um, and then the other 26 is just free product that Stampin' Up's giving you. So you get $99, you get 66 and 50 in the in-color products and 26 that you get to pick. Um, so lots of uh, products, right? So um, so that's, yeah, amazing, right? So, the, and the kit is 99 plus free shipping. Now, that's a great deal, right? But the benefits are go beyond that. So once you join, you get a 20% discount on everything that you buy from Stampin' Up! as long as you're an active demonstrator and you get some great benefits from me. And I wanna uh, emphasize this because you can join with anybody, right? And the things that Stampin' Up! offers are things you can get from any demonstrator. But for me, these are the unique things you can get. And they're just the, the high level stuff. So a free technique class every other month that I do, it's a, in a private Facebook group. Um, deep dive into a technique. Those of you who've done it, you know. Um, you get one free Maker's Mojo Creative Escape, which is an event filled with techniques and 3D items. And I collaborate with four other demonstrators and it's an amazing event. We do it quarterly. Team members get it absolutely for free for the first one, right? Um, as a new demonstrator. And then you have the opportunity after that to earn every single one free based upon a minimum sales and um, 
uh, sales alone or sales and recruiting combination. So um, that's another uh, little thing that differentiates me from other demonstrators you might decide to join with. Um, and then uh, you also get free tutorial bundles every single month for me. So plus you get me <laughs> and I'm super supportive. And um, I mean, I don't know. You have to ask my team what they think of me as an upline. Um, but either way, it's a great time either to take advantage of my annual catalog special offer and get $100 of free stuff from me, plus, you know, the other goodies I described, or buy the starter kit and get 9250 products in free from Sam and I, get 10% discount, all that good stuff, 20% discount. So awesome. So anyway, that's it. That's Those are the, the big announcements tonight. Um, Let's get to the in colors and my project tonight. I'm gonna switch the camera around. Now I have a new setup tonight. I'm trying to do it so that the lighting is a little bit better. So bear with me as I um, make the switch and hopefully it'll be smooth. So you're gonna see, yes, nothing right quite yet. <laughs> and then we're going to switch the camera. So you now see my workspace. Yay, trying to do it with a little bit of grace here. Okay, and I'm using, this is actually um, grid paper that Stampin' Up! offers to us to, to buy as um, um, uh, from the catalog, but we now have, well, it's not in the catalog, but we can buy it as demonstrators. Um, there's one of the things you get for free uh, is an in-color, in-color grid paper, and it's really pretty. So I should say the, uh, the four things you get that are in-color products, cardstock, and let's just show you those colors just for fun. So, um, a pack of 20 pieces of cardstock to each of the five colors. Aren't those colors just beautiful? And I love the colors. They're so much fun. And the names, um, and you get the grid paper that is in-color grid paper, which I don't have yet to show you, but you will get that and designer series paper, which I'm going to be using tonight. And I wanna show you all the patterns, but uh, they're all kind of a little bit of mess here. You're gonna see them on one of the cards that I'm making, because I made a set of cards made with this beautiful in-color designer paper. So what do I have there? One, two, the, the um, uh, what's the fourth thing? I know this. <laughs> oh my goodness, why can't I remember? Somebody's gonna chime in, somebody out there you guys know. I'll remember before we're done. But so yes, cardstock, designer paper, the grid paper, and dang it, I hate when I forget things. Um, I try to write everything down, but you know. <laughs> anyway, so in colors, that's our focus today. So I, for the first project, I'm gonna be using this bottled happiness set. Now I am using Retired Punch. I just, these are so great for bookmarks and we don't have a good replacement for it in the new catalog. So yes, I am using something retired. Um, and here's the first project. It's my in color bookmarks. So I have not been able to tune in to comments about what your favorite in colors are. You guys commenting and letting me know, please comment. Um, oh yes, ink pads. Thank you so much, Wendy. <laughs> Uh, how could I forget the ink pads? It was so obvious that, okay, so here we go. The beautiful in color ink pads and they're sitting right in front of me. So yes, thank you for catching that for me. I always need a little help from my friends, right? So tonight we're making this bookmark with my uh, bottle tappiness set. And again, I'm trying to get my lighting a little bit better. Um, and uh, I'm gonna be using this stamp in the set and this stamp. And uh, so, yeah, super fun. And I'm doing it on all the colors. So when you guys are commenting, I'm going to be trying to clue into what your favorite color is so that we're going to finish uh, the bookmark tonight on, you know, one of these colors. So I have to pick. So I want to see what you guys think is best. All righty. So let's start with... Uh, pieces of cardstock that I have printed out myself. Now I am gonna provide a PDF with my layout so you can print out uh, one piece of white cardstock and um, you'll have enough to make five bookmarks there if you wanna make them uh, for anybody else or you can just print it out and make one for yourself, of course. And I've strategically placed my words so that I can fit in my little bottle. Um, Hi, Rita from Ontario, Canada. <laughs> you love all this year's colors? I know, me too, me too. And I, th I think it's probably one of the best all around sets of colors that I've seen in recent um, years. Just love them. 
All right, so when I'm making a bunch of these, because I am going to give away um, bookmarks. So before I go further along, I just want to tell you. So this is my website, Melissa Scrapping Treehouse, the host code that's current. And I want you to comment. Hi, Kimmy. It's okay that you're late. <laughs> just diving into the important stuff for you. Um, anyway, so um, tonight's hashtag, hashtag 2022-24 bookmark. Um, I think the dash is okay in a hashtag. Just comment on that. I'm going to give away a bookmark to somebody tonight. And then there are some other ways you can get a bookmark. Um, you can place an order using the host code, any size order. Okay. So any size order qualifies. Join my annual catalog special offer party. I talked about that just earlier. So that's one of the ways you get it. And when you join my team, I'll include one of the bookmarks in your uh, welcome packet because I send a welcome packet to my two, my team members. Now this is too big to put on the screen, but I'll bring it back into the, um, the screen later. All right. So back to my bookmark. So I've got this. Okay, I buried this. I'm making multiple of these, of these, right? Now, the positioning of the images on here is kind of, you know, particular, right? Because I only have so much space to work with. So I designed uh, a little template for myself. I love making little templates, especially when I'm doing multiples of something. The way I did it was I took one of the ones that I'd finished, figured out all the details, and then I laid it over the top, cut just a little notch with my paper snips, and then I put a pencil mark in the center of where each of the bottles would end. So I'd know exactly where the center was and I could um, place my stamping exactly where I needed it to be. So I'm just laying that over, same size. I'm just gonna take my uh, pencil, make a little, little mark right there where the center is on each of those spots. Easy peasy, that's all I gotta do. Now, I'm gonna grab my ink pads, start at the bottom with my sweet sorbet. And, oh, darn, got a little bit of ink on there. Okay, well, there's gonna be ink there anyway, so uh, that's okay. And where's my stamp? Hold on. <laughs> I left it over on my other table. Now, I should tell you that this adorable stamp set comes with these. You can buy these cute little um, bottles to put, um, to make like a shaker card in. I can't wait to use these. Haven't used them yet, but I have to show you those because they're so cute. All right, so this is the image I'm using, and um, I am going to stamp it so that I'm not inking up the whole thing because I don't want it to go down too far. And now, so my bottle's gonna be down there and I'm just taking the center of my image and <clears throat> I'm gonna stamp it so it will be sort of tucked in between those two words. So, um, or just below the orchid oasis. Now, you can just stamp it once if you want, or if you wanna get fancy, you can stamp it a second time to get your second inking. So that way you're showing the ink in full ink and second ink because who doesn't love second generation ink, right? Uh, gives you another shade of the same color, which is awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and put my sweet sorbet away. Now you can go ahead and do the one image or the two and the ones that I have finished, I only did one image, but I really like it with the two um, sort of uh, the second stamping and the first stamping. So as I make these, I kind of perfect my method. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one aside because I've got all those stamped already. And I will just come in here with my eraser. You can see I've got my little pencil marks on those. I'm just gonna erase them just in case. Most likely my bottle's gonna cover that top portion, but just in case, and on the darker colors, you can't even tell it's there. So small, I only had to erase two of them. All right, so, and I have been so busy talking that I haven't noticed what color's your favorite. So, <laughs> stamping off is one of your favorite techniques, Rita? Yes, I know, so true for me too. Um, it's just the easiest uh, way to, you know, get a really pretty effect and taking advantage of, you know, you can stamp off once, twice, five times, depending on the depth of color, 
and get so many shades of just one ink. I just love it too. All right, so this is my favorite one, I believe. Starry Sky is um, with a close second, and I, it's hard to even rank these, being the Orchid Oasis. I am a purple girl, I love, and these are sort of bluish purples, which I especially love. I have a flower in my garden called, um, it's a Styrax japonica. No, no, that's not what I'm talking about, that's a tree. Um, it's a salvia. <laughs> began with an S. Um, and it's this beautiful purpley blue. Um, I'll have to take pictures and share with you guys in my garden. Um, so that's what this reminds me of. So there's my bookmark, right? Simple, easy peasy. Now I've done all my stamping already. Just going to go ahead and attach this. So, you know, the stamping is pretty straightforward, right? And uh, the main little tip, if you're making multiples of these, is my little template of course and you can do that with pretty much anything once you get it figured out then you kind of make your system for um for doing multiples so now i've got my glue dots already on the back side of each of my bottles now i meant to show you this too so i cut a bunch of strips i measured how tall i wanted the bottle to be and then i just stamped on my cardstock so i wouldn't go too high and the bottle wouldn't be too high um, so that's what I did with these. So they were all stamped and then punched out um, with my little die, my little punch rather. Now I have a little handle here because sometimes you stamp on a piece and it gets so small that you don't have enough to hold on to it. So you can just put a little bit of adhesive on the end of your handle attached to your cardstock and hold it as you put it into your punch. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just attach these babies. And all I have to do is center it right over my um, stamped portion. And some of them will end up sort of hanging off the edge just the tiniest bit. And it kind of just depends on how you want to do it. If it covers up some of the image, like it's getting real close to that, but that's okay. And generally speaking, they're each right above the word that's below it. I had to fiddle around with this one quite a bit. Uh, kind of wanted to put it so that it was in line with the others, but it just worked better to have it in the middle. Um, oh, a post-it note to hold your punched paper pieces. That's a good one. I like that little tip. Okay, and then last but not least, the parakeet party. So I don't know if you guys have seen it, but there's this great video that our CEO, Sarah Douglas, has done on the in colors, um, where they kind of go behind the scenes and talk about how they come up with colors. And if you haven't seen it, I, my plan is to share it in my uh, Facebook page. So be watching for that. It's, it's uh, super interesting. And um, she's brought in one of the staff members that's responsible for figuring out the colors. They talk about how far in advance they, they pick them and the process for coming up with the right dye lot colors, and, and it was very interesting. All right, so now I've got a piece of my um, uh, metallic mesh ribbon. Now there is a ribbon that coordinates with this, and I need to get it to show you. Hold on. <laughs> uh, the easiest way to show you is one of my product shares. I am working on assembling product shares for any of you out there who have purchased them. Um, so these are the, the ribbons. They're, they're, it's metallic, and they're so pretty. Um, and they're very thin and delicate, easy to, um, to uh, tie in a bow. I didn't want to use them on these because I just thought it would be too small. Uh, at the top. I wanted something a little bit more um, hefty. So I'm just taking my ribbon, I'm folding it in half, and I'm just going to, uh, the folded side, pinching it up and putting it through the hole. This is probably the hardest part of the whole thing is you have to get into the center. Not hard at all, right? Depends on how much extra ribbon you have. And then pull it through and then tighten it. I just love this metallic mesh ribbon. And you can leave it like super long like that if you want, or you can trim it down. I kind of like it trimmed down, but um, I'll trim it just a bit. I have found so many fun uses for this metallic mesh ribbon. It's just easy to work with and it goes with all kinds of things because it's, you know, the neutral metallic. Um, 
and just pretty, pretty delicate feathery kind of look. So there's the bookmark, finished. So easy, right? Hi, Jennifer, I'm glad to see you here. <laughs> okay, so again, here are my lovely in color bookmarks. So I wanted to make a card to match. And what I decided to do, I was looking online for ideas. I went to um, Pinterest, I believe it was. And I found a card that I pretty much 100% cased. <laughs> um, and so the person who made the original design was, um, oh my gosh, name slipping my mind. Um, <laughs> Mary Fish, I knew it would come to me. Uh, and she is a very talented, sort of clean and simple designer. I, and she's one of the only designers that I sometimes copy like 100%. Now this card is copied like 99% because I did change one thing. So this is her card. I've made it in all the in colors. I'm going to show you the assembly and process for making one. And of course, I've used the designer series paper that is part of the starter kit special. Um, the only change I made was I added rhinestones. She had some little white embellishments. They might have been the, um, I, I can't remember what they, which ones they were. Um, but anyway, so she had just two down here. I always like to work in threes, and I really liked how the rhinestones just kind of set that off. Um, and, of course, this um, sending and covered in strength, strength um, comes from, show you, the Sending Smiles stamp set. I love this set. I love all of these sentiments. And there are dies in the set of dies that fit either the shorter sentiments or the longer ones, because there's ones that are longer. I've used all the shorter ones today um, for my all my various versions. Um, so this one here, sent the Sending Dies. So I've used the two word sentiments that layer one on top of the other the small thin die and the long one. Of course, I haven't used the long one today, but you could use that for the sentiments. And then I've also used these new stylish shapes dies for uh, the circle. I used the second largest circle. And in my blog post, just FYI, which will go live on Saturday, I have um, got, the, I'm gonna have the dimensions for all of these pieces um, on my website. So you can stay tuned for that, um, just in case you wanna know. Um, Alrighty, so let's get started making this cute card, and then I'll show you the other uh, versions that I made. And so I made five versions. So I've used, I'm showing five of the different patterns of designer series paper. And there are actually, what would that be? Um, <laughs> there are four different patterns for each of the designer papers. So that's 20 different um, patterns as well, four patterns, but in the five different colors, right? So um, let's see, got my thing. We're gonna assemble uh, this card in the uh, Parakeet Party. So I've got my white card base, got my pieces all ready to go. And I really love this, um, what is it, gingham pattern? I think that's what it is, gingham. Um, and it's just going to go on here. So it's justified to the right. So the edges on the top and the bottom and the right are all the same. The one thing I love about this particular design is that, you know, depending on which pattern of the designer paper you use, um, it can really, they can really be all masculine if you want, except for maybe the floral pattern. It's very neutral designer series paper. Um, which uh, makes it really flexible. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I've got this very long piece of my white baker's twine, which I can see now is getting tied up here. I need to fix that. Don't know how that happened. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna wrap it around twice around my piece. Now I've got adhesive on the back side of my parakeet party, which hopefully is not gonna make this too hard. So, I want it to be hanging off the edge. And then I'm just gonna wrap it around twice. Oh, look at that. How'd I do that? I think I cut a bigger piece than I needed. How'd I do that? <laughs> All righty, I need to bring this back in since I have adhesive on the back. All right, so it's off to the right and I generally, I might need it up a little bit higher. Oh, 
hopefully that's going to be enough of a tail on the right. I think it will be. So it's easiest, of course, in this situation to do a knot first. Um, and then you can adjust the positioning as you need to. Otherwise, it's hard to get the bow just so. I don't know what I was doing when I measured this. I thought I knew that I had the measurement right. It's like way long. No worries. Hi, Gayla. Good to see you out there. It's always so fun to glance up at the at the phone and see who's who's out there watching and what you guys are saying. Have you guys commented on your favorite colors? I really want to know. So keep in mind, like if you do your hashtag, the hashtag, um, uh, what's it? What's the code again? What's the hashtag again? Got to remember. Um, 2022-24 uh, bookmark. If you use that hashtag and you are the winner of the free bookmark that I'm going to send. Um, actually, it would be really nice if you commented with your favorite color on your uh, with that hashtag too. That way I'll know which one is your favorite and I'll send you one that has the base with that color. All right, let's work on assembling our um, circle and our sentiment. So I have got dimensionals on the back of my white piece already. Now, one thing you'll find when you die cut this piece, the, the thin piece, is that there's a little dot on top of the eye. That little dot, you know, is you just got to pay attention to where that little dot is and, you know, put it in the right place before you lose it because, of course, you know, it's tiny and it's easily lost. So I went ahead and attached it to get started so I didn't have to worry about losing it. Um, okay, so now I have done my trick where I've got my white glue already on the back side of this and it's dry. You can see the shininess on there. Um, I could also have die cut it with my adhesive sheets, but a lot of times I just plain forget. And then I've got my die cut piece and I have to put glue on the back and it's, you know, no big deal. So you can see I got my hand on the back of that and it's just sticking to my finger um, that I can lift it up. I don't have to worry about it being oozy or goopy and get it making a big mess. So I'm just going to place it and then I do have to pry it off of my finger as I get it into place and just kind of scoot the letter letters where I need them to be. And because it's dried adhesive, it's, you know, you can move it around, lift it back up again as you need to. So you can see I'm just placing it and a tool like my paper piercing tool can help to just kind of nudge it into place. Hi, Sharon. I was just thinking about you. <laughs> Maybe because I sent you my in color bookmark for the colors that were retiring. You just crossed my mind and then I popped my look, looked up and there you were. Okay. All right, so there you go. Just mounted that one on top of the other. Isn't that so pretty? I just love it. There's also a stamp with the sending as well. It's the same shape that you could stamp on that white background piece as well. Starry Sky, Jen, that's your favorite. <laughs> um, that's, of course, that's what I said, my favorite. <laughs> Purple Girls. All right. Okay, so next I'm going to get this piece placed on my circle. Now you can see on the back side I have dimensionals, mini dimensionals back there, but here's the other thing that I have. On this side, I have two layers of dimensionals on the top of the G, and the other ones just have one um, layer of a dimension. You can see the difference in the thickness there. And that's because the G is gonna hang off, whoop, <laughs> it's gonna hang off the edge of my circle, and I wanted to have sort of a reasonable footing. So it's going to be attached to the card. Um, uh, let's see, off of the circle, you can see right there. Now, here's the method to my madness. This has dimensionals on the backside too. So I've got one height, and then I've got the second height here, and then, uh, and then of course, uh, I have to have two on that one, right? 
I hope that makes sense. I think it does. So I'm seeing something weird on this. I just got to move it over ever so slightly. There we go. That's better. All right, so there's my little sending. It's going to be a bit askew. And then let's see how it fits right on there. I want it to be so that my the bottom of my G is right on top of the knot of my bow. I think I need to move my bow over just a little bit. Now, again, I've got adhesive on the back side, so I've got to remove it. To move it, I can bow this and then just slide it. No problem. And the, the dimensionals are, uh, the backings have been removed there. I need to remove this one. My double, my double dimensional piece. And it's gonna, the circle's gonna hang off the left side of the designer paper just a little bit. And I think that's about right. And then I stamp a card to say hello on this one. And that's got a single layer of dimensionals on it because it's going on top of the circle. And then we'll just tuck it in here. Getting the placement. I fiddled with the placement a lot on this. Just trying to get it the way I wanted it. Here we go. And let's just trim off the end. I just realized I haven't trimmed off the end yet. And for this one, I kind of like the long, flowy tails. And that's what, that's what Mary Fish did. Talented, talented demonstrator that she is. All right. So you guys, uh, you know, this is, like I said, one of those rare cases where I'm actually literally casing almost 100% because why mess with a good thing, right? Okay, so now I'm just going to attach it to my white card. I'm going to put it on my my uh, silicone craft sheet because then I can actually see the edges of the white a little bit better. Okay, isn't that pretty? I just love this color. Let's just tack it down there. So fun, right? It's just a happy, cheerful card uh, in these lovely new in colors. So you guys want to see the other color schemes and designer paper? I think you do. I'm just going to assume that you do. Oh my goodness, sirens going off, storming. Uh, that sounds scary. Um, all right. <laughs> okay, I forgot. I need to do one last touch on this, which is my rhinestones. So I've got my rhinestones here, and I did one large, one medium, and one small. And I like to have the large and the small next to each other. It just gives it a little bit more contrast. Kind of paired up there. And then I got a medium one for down here. Here we go. Sometimes I spend a lot of time fussing with the placement of where I'm going to put my little gems. But once I get it, it's like I'm good, right? Isn't that cute? It's so cute. Okay, so there's my pretty peacock. Here's the orchid oasis. And then I've got my sweet sorbet. And same pattern there. I had to duplicate one. Um, well, I guess I didn't really have to duplicate one, but I uh, decided to duplicate one. And then, <laughs> and then my polka dots. You can see like all of these really would work just perfectly for a man, except for maybe the flower one. Um, so those are five of the 10 different patterns in the designer paper. So let's look at the other ones. So you can see them. So the back side of the flowers is the stripes, which I used right there, of course. The back side of my gingham is the polka dots, which of course I used right there. And then, of course, there's that one. We just looked at that one. Back side of my polka dots, again, is that. So I guess I only used, only used five of the 10 patterns on this one, but here's the other patterns. Got that one, that one. Okay, here we go. So, um, or did I use six? No, five, four. Can't even count. <laughs> Two, three, four. All right, polka dots in the turquoise. And then I got the 
gingham and the polka dots, the flowers. Am I counting the patterns incorrectly? And maybe I am. I don't know. I can't count tonight. Anyway, they're so pretty, are they not? Don't you want this designer paper? Who doesn't want this designer paper? Now there's also, um, there's also glimmer paper. This doesn't come with the starter kit, of course, but it is so pretty. I used some of these papers that it's ombre as well in each of the colors. Um, I used some of these in my Maker's Mojo presentation in April. So we always try to use the latest and newest stuff. And uh, I was doing my designing a little bit late in the game. So I um, got my pre-order and started designing like crazy and had it ready for April 23rd, even though we had our pre-order on April 1st. I was very proud of myself. Alrighty, so there's my lovely cards. Here's my in-color bookmarks. So here we go. I hope you guys are commenting if you're interested in getting a bookmark. I'm gonna turn the camera and uh, let's see if I can do this gracefully again. Okay, this is the tricky part. One of these days I'll get the, um, I'll get my, uh, <laughs> okay, that was not graceful, but let's just turn the camera around. <laughs> my makeshift little um, rig that I have there. <laughs> I hope that it was worth, uh, that the lighting was a little better than in past times, um, just, uh, that was my intention was to try to get the lighting to be a little bit better. Sometimes it's all goofy because um, of the positioning of where my camera is. But anyway, I uh, hope you liked it. I hope you liked the projects, the in colors. Um, just a quick little recap and some reminders. So, of course, starter kit special is going on. Now, I did have somebody, um, very sweet uh, email, uh, somebody who asked if um, maybe would it help me if they bought the kit. Now, it really only helps me if you stick with it, right? If you um, stick around a little bit, if you buy yourself and you get to a certain uh, sales, that's sales threshold, which is called qualified recruit. Um, so it's not really a reason to join. Join if you want the discount, if you want all the perks and benefits for me, if you wanna be a part of an amazing community, um, meeting all kinds of wonderful people, really all over the world, which I absolutely love. Um, oh, you, you like the bookmarks? Oh, good. <laughs> I love that. Um, now I do also send my bookmarks to my club members as well. So um, I have uh, some regular club members uh, here locally and where I live. So they're going to get a bookmark also. So yay club members. Some of you guys join in here as well. Um, yes. Yeah, so um, think about if the starter kit works for you. If you want to have a conversation about it, just let me know. I'm happy to have a conversation. Um, again, it's just an amazing, wonderful community of crafty people and lots and lots of benefits from me and Stampin' Up. Um, and uh, don't forget about my annual catalog special offer. So the best deals ever between the starter kit and my annual catalog special offer. Tons of freebies um, for anybody who decides to do either. Um, so yeah, there you go. I'm probably forgetting something, but I think I mostly covered what I needed to. So my blog post will go live on Saturday evening at um, 7 p.m. on uh, also on, on YouTube. It'll go live my blog post and this video will be uploaded to YouTube. So please comment if you are watching on YouTube as well. Um, you can use the hashtag and get uh, entries into the drawing for uh, one of my bookmarks. Um, and again, I should grab my little thingy here, remind myself the ways, and it's backwards now, so I'll just have to read it to you. <laughs> The ways to get a bookmark from me is to place an order using the host code, any size order, and I'm going to send it to you while supplies last. Um, join my annual catalog special offer party and, or join my Treehouse Chicks team. And that's what we're called because this is Melissa's Crafting Treehouse and we're all ch chicks. <laughs> um, cute little catchy name. Uh, thank you, Lee. <laughs> my friend Lee who helped me come up with that name. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed tonight's project and uh, I will upload links to the video description as soon as I get off, as soon as the system allows me to do that on Facebook. And I will be back in two weeks from now. So what is that date? It's two weeks from now, May 26th. I'm going live every two weeks now. Um, but stay tuned for details in my newsletter. I always remind you of the dates on that as well. Um, and I'm here to help if you ever have any questions. Um, so... I'll look forward to hearing from you. <laughs> you're very welcome, Laura Lee. So glad you're here. <laughs> All right. 
uh, we'll see you in two weeks um, or online and commenting or on YouTube. <laughs> have a wonderful, have a wonderful week and weekend. Bye everybody. You're welcome, Wendy. Good to see you here. Staying up late for me. <laughs> Bye.